Hello! <clears throat> Welcome to the uh, extravaganza of loss. Can you hear me okay? That's cool then. Great stuff. Well, uh, the stream's been up a little but a little while now. Um, we haven't looted anything of interest at all. Uh, no globals yet, but. Um, well, to be fair, we haven't been on that long. Uh, migration event is basically this uh, event that Mindoc kind of put together. It's not, let's be fair, it's not really much of an event. It's basically some special mobs that you can't hunt most of the year round. And they only come around during summer. Um, Longtooth, which is what I'm hunting right now. And Eomon, which... Um, I think they're a bit too tough for me, to be fair. Um, I don't really have the armor for them to do them solo anyway, so I would probably need a healer. Um, so I'm going to stick with a long tooth for now. So, um... I guess if you're asking that question, are you not an Entropia Universe player? My highest skill? Uh... Let me just check. I'm a bit low because I chipped out ages and ages and ages ago. Uh, let's have a look. 7k. 7.5k. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I'm not, I'm not much beyond a noob at the moment. <laughs> but that's only because I chipped out twice. So, you've been playing a month, uh, almost. Are you enjoying it?
if you uh, if you join in the chat, uh, please say hello. Um, otherwise, I don't really know you're there unless I keep checking the uh, checking the list because um, I'm using the pop out chat thing. And uh, if you pop out the list of people that are on that, it doesn't seem to automatically update for some bizarre reason. Call that a massive oversight in functionality, but there you go. There's uh, quite a few people down here. There's a team of guys up there, guy over there, guy here. When you're in uh, Entropia, that's quite a few people. <laughs> Cause, uh, because it's such a big environment, you don't tend to see people that much when you're out and about. But that's, uh, that's events for you. Unfortunately, we're suffering with a bit of uh, failed usage here, and then there's some lag as well. Don't be shy. Please chat. I'll answer questions if I know the answer. Welcome back. Uh, is that Ziffy? I hope I get that right. Um, sorry, I do get these names wrong. Yeah, so the uh, the box opening was uh, quite disappointing. I had hoped that in uh, 900 overall boxes I might actually get something uh, a bit rare, but uh, obviously that's not happening. I really am becoming quite confident that there's some problem with my account. There is some exclusion or something going on. I wasn't wrong then. That's cool. So, um I don't I don't remember you um chatting much yesterday, uh Ziffy, so uh forgive me if I missed any messages. Uh are you are you a player also or just interested? Um, I would have thought, having caught both videos, I think you probably are a player, but uh, can't assume these things.
Well, I wouldn't call 35 uh, noob. I would say that's uh, lower mid, lower mid level. At least very upper noob, but I, I wouldn't class that as noob, to be fair. Um, so level 35, you're probably rocking about 110 heal uh, hit points, maybe, maybe more. Am I right? Serious loot lag there. Yeah, see, I wasn't far off there, was I? Yeah, I. To be honest, um, since chipping out, I've done so so little melee. I've done a bit of whipping, and I do carry uh, a knife, you know, a short blade with me, um, because yeah, I'd like to, you know. I'd like to kind of build stuff up and unlock some of the uh, the kind of uh, locked skills that I've got, um, but you know I'm not in any great hur hurry to do that because at the end of the day you need to kind of specialise and unlock everything, then you can go about generalising all the other skills. So, <clears throat> so it kind of just works out a bit better if you if you just kind of focus. I would recommend doing a spot of mining if you don't already, because that gives uh, that gives hit points. The skills there give uh, give you uh, increased hit points, so uh, it's well worth doing, even if it means just using the TT rubbish and uh, you know doing the really low end stuff. I wouldn't recommend doing that forever because the TT stuff is just it's just junk. But, you know, if you're just starting out on that stuff, then it's an absolute must. So, has uh, have any of you in the chat uh, had any good loot today? Have you been on? Yeah, I think it's a, a, a good idea to go and uh, check out entropedia.info. Uh, let, uh, let me just put that in the old chat after I just nail this one. There we go. Getting any uh, decent loots here at the moment. Let's get the auto uh, on that. Um, yeah, just put this link over here. Um, if you head on over to there, uh, if you haven't been there before, 
uh, and even if you have, uh, there's a section in there where you can just look at skills. And the table has the amount of skill, uh, sorry, the amount of hit point increase they give as you gain points of uh, skill. So um, it's well worth ordering the table by the hit points that they give. And then you can see, um, you know, which skills are more effective for increasing your health. Um, it certainly is important to check that out because obviously there are missions and the missions reward you with skills and you want to kind of pick the missions that reward you with the most the most hit points really um, you know I, I think this uh, I'm doing the long tooth oh I've got loads of missions down here but uh, the long tooth one this gives a load of stuff 25 strength tokens athletics first aid uh, I think athletics gives health so if I was looking to increase my health uh, I would pick that one. Oh dear I'm getting a lot of lag here Uh, don't forget to uh, chat away because uh, this is going to be interesting unless we uh, get some conversation going over. Feel free to ask questions or just tell me what, what you've been up to. And we will chat about that. Get rid of this Hiryu, it's annoying me.
great when they spawn on top of you. Well, so far no globals yet, which is uh, a bit disappointing, but then it's kind of in line with the uh, the box looting yesterday that went on. I guess I'm probably in one of those low ebbs. Don't be shy in the chat. Tell me, uh, tell me what's going on. Um, tell me whether you've been doing okay in EU or, or whatever. Interested to know. Benefits. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess um, your hit. Well, it depends on which scopes you go for. They, they you know, different scopes diff give different. That was effectively a no looter. Okay. Different scopes give different benefits. Um, there are there are scopes out there that give increased crit ability, which is uh, kind of good. Um, the scopes I'm using, they just give skill modification, so uh, they improve your ability a little bit. Um, I, I, I would say, finger in the air, from what I feel my experience has been like over the years, that they do improve things a little bit. Uh, if you're 10-10... To be honest, you don't really need them. So if you if you've got an SIB weapon and you've maxed it out, um, I don't think you need to worry about scoping like that. Um, there is argument that you know there's more to it than that. Um, and I would say if you are using a ten like a weapon you've maxed out and you're ten ten on it, um, and you start hitting things that are a bit above the weapon's capability then I would start putting the scopes and stuff on because I think things like mob intelligence and stuff like that play a big part and you know you can you can max a weapon but the weapon's damage per second um, kind of dictates the level of that weapon really um, and you know if you start hitting mobs that are a bit bigger than that level that theoretical level or even the actual level that you max it at then um, you know that the bigger and bigger the mob gets the less and less effective the weapon becomes so you could say if you're hunting things that are a little bit more um, tougher than the level of the weapon then you probably are going to get a little bit of benefit to scoping and whatnot um, but to be honest I don't really recommend hitting creatures that are well above the the ability of the weapon because it's just not an efficient exercise at all I mean to be honest I'm using this I mean this this in the old school days this was one of the better weapons that you could get 
but these days, you know, when you've got mobs like this, it's it's almost not capable enough. Um, I mean, I, I could put a bigger ramp on it. That would make things a bit better. Um, but, you know, things have so much HP and, you know, they take so long to kill that, you know, it's almost inefficient. Especially as I'm being hit quite so often as well. Well, I, I, I forget when we started this stream. Uh, how long have we been going? Did it say? Yeah, we've been doing about an hour now. An hour or... Oh, damn. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> We're doing about an hour here. And uh, we still we still haven't seen a global yet. Um, although these mobs are... They're not that... They're not that potent. And they're only level 19s. So... Um, you know, I probably need to hit hit them for a little while longer to guarantee a global. Um, it's just a little bit disappointing when it takes this long to get the first one. Another no looter, effectively. Great. Hey guys, keep the chat going, keep the questions coming. I, uh, it's going to be boring watching me just shoot these things, uh, so just uh, you know, ask me questions and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them as, as best I can. A lot of them is, uh, you know, it's just going to be in my opinion, and others could very well disagree. Fefoids. To be honest, my advice would be not to hunt them flat out because they've got quite a lot of HP now. They used to be a lot weaker than they are now. I don't mean in terms of how hard they hit, but they, they had much less HP and uh, they didn't have any regeneration to speak of. Um, but now they regen like crazy, so you need to really be putting down some damage per second to make that whole exercise efficient. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't stick on them. I would do them for a couple of hundred peds worth of ammo, then go and do some other stuff, then come back to them again later. I mean, to be honest, you know, certainly with the way I'm looting right now, I really shouldn't be doing these long tooths. I should be sat doing punies or something until I realise that my loot is getting a little bit better and then coming back over to these. But, you know, it's, it's migration time. It's an event and I want to get 250 kills and move on to the next stage of the long tooth mission. So I, I guess I have to take it on the chin that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, get the returns on this if I'm just gonna go hard at it.
Uh, yeah, Cappy, I I have a very poor internet connection. I'm really sorry. Uh, I've only got one meg up. Um, I have to. I have to squeeze the bandwidth as much as I possibly can and uh, if anything else uses the internet at any point in time it can uh, jitter out the uh, the stream so I do apologize for the, the quality um, I wish it was better um, but there's not really much I can do about that uh, with this internet connection as it stands The level one daily hunter, uh, yeah, they're kind of cool. Um, some of them are a bit annoying, uh, like the Reposilex, the Reposilex one, because those mobs are actually pretty damn hard to find decent numbers of. I did find a little spot. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it is. Uh, let me pull up the map. Uh, where was it? It was around here somewhere. Um, not there. Maybe, maybe here. I think maybe, maybe it was in there because there's this little kind of uh, this little kind of lake amongst some big trees, and there's a little school of Reposilex that sit there, and there aren't any other mobs around. Which is great. That's exactly what you want for a daily hunter mission. No other chaff, um, chaff to kind of deal with. Uh, thanks for letting me know about the uh, the stream, and uh, you know, uh, feel free to kind of keep me updated because obviously, being at this end, I can't see really what the output's like aside from running the stream myself, which would just create a mess, an absolute mess. So <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we uh, still haven't seen a global, um, and yet yeah, we're over an hour now. Hopefully, this this will change at some point. Hopefully, before I have to finish the stream, that'll be when the boss gets home, and we know we all know who the boss is. Oh, does that class as a mini? 8 ped? 8 ped 50 ish. <laughs> So, um, for well, I guess more for people that are new to Entropia, um, but are playing. What what's your biggest loot so far? What's the what's the biggest? 
biggest global you've got, or even Hoff. Hall of Fame. Wow, 29, that's quite a jump. The others are 19s, this is a 29. And these hitting a lot harder. I wonder where these guys were. Didn't realise they were just next door. 140 ped on a Kerberos, that's, that's nice, because Kerberos, that's nice hunting that. Um, for low level, low, le low level mobs. Good hunting. Because uh, you don't lose a great deal on them, and then you can get those kind of big loots, which can help you keep going for quite a while longer. You know what? I'm I'm going to finish this guy, and I'm going to go back to the guardians because these are, these guys are too much for me. Too much for this armor. 287 is a nice global. Was that on a Fephoid? Guys hitting hard. Yeah, for four guard. They um they are nice looters. They are nice looters, but you just can't you can't stay on them because they're just you know because of that regen, because of the, the you know the amount of health you gotta you gotta munch away at them. You just you know your loot curves. You just feel it. You feel it so much more on that when you're on a dip. bit like Aatrox these days, you know. Mm. Right, let's get away from these guys because that's just too much effort. I think uh, my highest ever Hoff was, I'll get this right in my head, I think it was 14,000 ped, so that's $1,400. Um, that was back in, I don't know, 2007, 2008, something like that. And then right after that, I got another massive Hoff, and it was like... Uh, I don't know, something like 10k off an alafil. It's ridiculous. So I, in the space of um, a couple of weeks, I hit $1,400, then another $1,000. It was ridiculous. But unfortunately, since then, it's all been a bit crap. And here we are, nearly eight years on, and uh, I don't seem to be able to loot very well anymore. I'm not expecting big, big amounts of, of loot. I just, it's just always bad. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, pretty soon after I managed those big hits, I did kind of chip out everything, sold all my gear, um, and and withdrew it, and uh, that was that was quite nice. That was a uh, quite a nice amount of money. I did all right with that. Um, it it was a, a you know I. I was at a time where I wanted to realign my thinking about some things, so um, you know, I made that decision. Um, I can't undo that decision. I think it'd be nice if I still had a lot of the gear that I had back then, but at the end of the day, um, I'm doing all right. Um, wow, that was a lot of crits there. <laughs> That's that happens a lot. If you get loads of crits on a mob, it effectively no loots at you. It's ridiculous. So we've uh, still not seen any globals. That's disappointing. Uh, Nova fragments. Uh, yeah. Um, they are used... I think the main use is tiering. So uh, if you've got unlimited items, like unlimited armor, unlimited weapons, then obviously to get to the next tier you have to do a tier upgrade in fact uh, my oh, oh I'm gonna die here in a minute let's get some heal going come on no lag uh, in fact my primary weapon here is ready for tiering I, ha I haven't done it yet because it uh, it's gonna cost me a fair amount um, so I'm just kind of eking through at the moment Hopefully I'll grab enough stuff to actually... Oh my god, Nova again! I'll just quickly show you the tier uh, here. And there we go, there's Blazar fragments right there. So this is... I, I would say this is their primary use. I am I think they are used in some recipes. I'm not 100% sure on that though. So, uh, for those in the chat, uh, where where do you reside in Entropy Universe? Are you are you on Calypso, or are you over on, say, Arcadia or Rocktropia? So, okay. Have you have you ever visited any of the other planets? Uh 
Arcadia. Yeah, there are. Um, I, I, uh, I don't think I've. Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't done them all because they've introduced new ones. Um, and there, there seems to be this requirement now for them that you you have to have uh, like what was it, ten thousand units of sweat to to really progress in that. <clears throat> um, and to be honest, I wasn't sticking around on Arcadia. I, I wanted to go and um, do some other stuff, visit some other planets recently, so I didn't really kind of crack on with that. But what I do recommend doing is, you know, if you're that way inclined, uh, is going to each of the planets and going through their newbie missions because, <coughs> excuse me, because a lot of them give you free stuff. Um, and for me, the best one ever was the hunt the thing. It's it's. It's just, I think, the most interesting out of all the newbie experiences you can do. And at the end of it, you, you get a helicopter. So if you haven't got one already, that's a, that's a real nice incentive. What I will say is I find the mobs on pretty much all the other planets to be tougher than the ones on our, on Calypso as a whole um, you know you get some token newbie ones and then you kind of into even ones that have low level seem to be quite tough to kind of get through um, and I just feel that a lot of the other planets are missing some kind of like decent progression uh, linear line. Uh, yeah, PvP. Yeah. Uh. So I don't, I don't have weapons on my interceptor. Um, you just make sure you don't take stackables up into PvP. Uh. You need a repair tool and some welding wire just, you know, in case you do get attacked. Because um, obviously you'll need to um, go and repair your craft afterwards. Uh, I don't think typically people are going to kind of hit you again and again and again. They kind of get you to get your items and then, you know, if they've looted you and found you've got nothing, then there's no point hitting you again and again unless they really want to kind of bully you. And people don't tend to do that in space unless they've got some kind of vendetta. Um, but, you know, there are, I guess there, there, there can be idiots out there that think that's funny. Um, yeah, I, I do recommend a taxi service, preferably a warp one. Because it takes a, a lot less time. But I say that, I have never had a warp flight, so um, I just, because I tend to fly everywhere in my in my quad, um, I've, I've been quite lucky. I've probably been taken down once in space PvP in my entire uh, time in Entropia since space has been um, an option. It is safer uh, taking a mothership warp or whatever but th it isn't without risk. It isn't without risk so I would still, unless there's an absolute necessity for you to carry some loot from one planet to another I would just leave it in the TT or, or sell it. You know, don't bother taking it out because if you don't want to lose it, um, then just don't take it to space. Simple as that. I can I can kind of see why Mindock implemented things like that. Uh, I can't say I necessarily agree with it, but you know. If I have too much of an opinion about it, I'll probably end up with even worse loot than I'm already getting. So, you know, that's as much as I'm going to say on it. 
No, you can only lose stackables like uh, proper loot. So anything you loot off mobs like you know oils and uh, hides and wool and um, you know components, a lot of that crap and stuff that you mine up from the ground. So ores and end matters and uh, brew kite and things like um, fruit stuff that you find. All of that stuff is lootable. Everything else can't be touched. Yeah, yeah, all of that is safe. Disappointingly, we're still not looting anything. What are we into now? Uh, an hour and 20 minutes without a global. Uh, so, storage? No, you can't do that. You, uh, there, Each area has its own discrete storage system. Um, so, no, you, you can't. You can't access stuff you leave on Cali. So you, again, if you're if you're taking a space trip, you need to think about what you need um, for that space trip. Um, you know, if you're a crafter and you like to craft, you know, you would have to take all of your BPs with you because you won't have access to them. And the BPs can't be looted, so they're safe. But I do, I do definitely recommend, you know, having a trip out, even if you, you know, pay for a taxi or whatever to get from these place, you know, from place to place, because, um, you know, there, there, there is interesting stuff to be found on the other other planets, and it's really worth doing the newbie missions in each one because. At the end of the day, you get a bunch of free ammo, free weapons, and stuff. And yeah, it's only newbie limited stuff, but it's you know it's still handy. And it's at the end of the day, free weapons and free universal ammo and whatnot. It's free skills, so that can only help, right? <laughs> the old Apollo, the trusty Apollo. Uh, the problem is the Apollo isn't actually that good a weapon these days. Um, apparently there are better options than it. I haven't really explored that too much. Uh, however, what I do know is that a, a, a better weapon straight off the bat is the Z12 Barbarella you can get in the starter packs. So, you know, if you can get a starter pack, get one of those because they're great. And. Uh, if you don't fancy, you know, a laser, I say a laser weapon, uh, the, that King Kong Tommy Gun SE that you get in the King Kong starter pack is, you know, an interesting alternative. 
it does exactly the same damage per second with the I think it's got the same range as well uh, I hazard a guess it's probably got the same eco as well um, so you know uh, uh, it, you know it's a blip it uses blip ammo um, but it gives laser skill but sounds like a blip weapon because obviously it's a tommy gun so it's just a you know, fun interesting alternative uh, what is stackable? By the way, anyone watching the channel um, who isn't already subscribed to the YouTube uh, channel that I've got, uh, please head on over. Um, you can either go to YouTube and type in Blade of Akaya, um, or click on the link I'm about to put in. which will take you right there. Yeah, uh, did you enjoy that video? Um, it was a, it was kind of a spare of the moment thing because I just got the starter pack and uh, thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video on this, and I happened to be hitting zombies with it at the time. Uh, I know you said you saw the Tommy Gun one. Did you see the Z12 Barbarella video? Yeah, it is a it is a weird a weird gun, but I think in order to well, I don't even I don't even know the reasoning behind that because you don't get a synchronous amp with the King Kong starter pack, so I don't know why you would gear that weapon specifically so that you could attach the synchronous amp. Um, so why doesn't it do blip skills? Um, and you, you know, I don't, I don't really know. It doesn't really make any sense to me. It's a blip weapon. It should do blip stuff and use blip ammo um, and all that jazz. Any more to go to complete this mission? Mm. 
Oh. Yeah, I kind of did that Z12 Barbarella mission at this, uh, video at the same time as doing the Kerberos uh, kind of hunting guide. Uh, it, you know, it wasn't that great a guide. I probably could have, could have collated a few more facts and figures and whatnot for it, but at the end of the day, it's just they're, they're just kind of introductory videos. I don't really, uh, I don't have a lot of time to put a lot of, um, you know, science isn't the word, statistics, uh, f facts and details in them. So I, I can only. I've only got enough time to kind of put together the basics, really. And in part, whatever kind of experience I've had with those those particular mobs. Another effective no looter. So which disciplines are people favouring? Are they favouring laser? Are they favouring blip? Or melee? Of varying degrees. So you've got short blades, long blades, slash weapons, crush weapons. What are your favourites? Oh, not forgetting mind force. <laughs> yeah. I pretty much stick to laser myself. Uh I used to do a lot of blip back in the day. Um but yeah, laser carbine, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. That is a good one. I, I do prefer the pistol because of the damage per second. Um the laser carbine is a more efficient way of doing things because obviously you're taking a lot more of the health of the creature away before it even gets toe to toe with you depending on the level you are and what kind of creatures you're you're fighting. But I found that, you know, if you want to get toe to toe and build up your evade skill, you 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 know, range isn't important. You need to be just doing damage per second and actually taking some hits. No loot again. What the hell? But yeah, you know, when, when I was doing blip, that you know, there was a clear divide. You either did laser and, and were economical, or you did blip and just suffered uneconomicalness. Because um, the blip weapons weren't... I don't know... I always felt that I ended up worse off using blip weapons because you kind of use up all your ammo and then you'd have a much bigger repair bill at the end of it. Whoa, what's going on? Uh, Ziffy, I don't. <coughs> I don't know, is the honest answer. Um, uh, wow, getting spammed here. Um, 
I thought it was a case of if you did not move, if you did not have any X, Y, Z translation, you didn't use any fuel. So if you kind of hovered in one position, I wasn't, I didn't think you used fuel, but I might be wrong there. Um, you know, it's easy enough to check, to be honest, because you could just spawn it and and either just have it on the ground or, or hover it and then just keep so when you get that little um, status bar stub that pops up when you get in your vehicle just right click on that and go to information item information and then there's uh, in fact I'll just do it for you now um, so I just pick up any old item so sort of like this if you keep hitting this the I button it refreshes the pane Hello Squirrel Nuts! Um, it refreshes the pain so you can see an ongoing status. As you can see the ammo being used up, your ped value is going down. And that's the same in a vehicle. You can actually monitor how much fuel you've used in the same way. So you could probably test that yourself pretty quickly. was some loot lag there. So, uh, as you've just joined Squirrel Nuts, just to sum it up, we've been on here about an hour and a half, and no globals none yet so that's a little bit disappointing As you can see, we've got lag. I just got hit about eight times, including a crit in one go. Then, Yeah, um, uh, I guess uh, we don't have the chosen one accounts. <laughs> you know, the, the kind of sponsored accounts that are able to loot decently most of the time. Um, I tried sitting over on the dominance because I think they they probably give a, a better average, you know, chance of uh, getting a decent loot. But obviously, you're having to put a lot more in because they hit so much harder. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, squirrel nuts. The it's an improved uh, M2870. The old trusty faithful. That was too good to be true, not getting hit.
This amp's going to die, so I'm going to have to kind of... Uh, I'm going to have to go back and repair. Oh, there we go. Nice little hoff for someone on the dominance. You see? So, let's get sleep out. When it wants to come and play. Yeah, it's just it's just lag. Lag's causing the the hits to all build up. Look, you see everything's kind of gone quiet. That's because everything's lagging. Right, where's Levas? So I'm just going to go and uh, repair up and come back down. Get rid of all of this crap. Should have got rid of that ages ago. Rubbish. Now we're uh, we're failing pretty hard here. That's. Uh, Yeah, nothing, nothing in there. I looted that ages ago. So uh, I was expecting to see a bit more than that, but obviously, without any globals, it was never going to be that good. Don't need any of that just now. Crap. <laughs> you can tell squalls about. That's what he looks like. He really went all out with that one. <laughs> yeah, see that? That's it's just terrible, terrible return. Uh, I don't need any ammo because I've got tons of ununiversal stuff. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on the stream for, guys. But thank you for watching. And uh, if you aren't already subscribes to my YouTube channel please clicky clicky on the link Alright, let's whack it. Oh, People shooting at them left, right, and centre. Let's whack a few more now. Mm. 
many have I got to go? Um, only ten more to complete that mission. I might have to kind of trot back to the trot back to the uh, service centre or whatever again, or TP even, because I, I might need to go somewhere for that one. I think it's Corinth. Where the NPC is, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure whether that's necessary these days. So, I mean, are you talking about limited versus unlimited of the same gun, or of different guns of a similar kind of damage? Because you know, if you're if you're comparing unlimited stuff that isn't SIB, then you you won't do as well as you do on the limited the limited weapons. Um, I. I, I guess there is a school of thought that the limited ones do have a bit of a, um, a skew on them so that they they have a better return to counteract the market value of them but I, you know I don't know I don't know I, I haven't used a, a limited weapon well aside from whips I haven't really used one for a long time yeah I think you're right there just the mission terminal but some of them even pop up, you don't even have to go anywhere but I, I'm not sure whether this is one of those it's kinda nice when it just pops up yeah yeah I know what you mean I just uh, I'm just not 100% sure really. I I just stick with my improved. I don't really kind of change. Uh, the only thing I've ever done really is is used enhancers with this and a decent limited amp, you know, to get as much damage as I can out of it and you know, it becomes quite a a good tool, but um, while I can put more damage per second down, which kind of it lends itself to getting better loot, it still doesn't counteract the fact that you lose so many enhancers so quickly it, it kind of like the extra loot is kind of null and void so you might as well just not bother with an enhancers and stick to lower end mobs and, and not you know put down so much damage yeah uh, it's just a guess for a lot of people to be honest because you know unless you've got the time and the volition to actually sit down and take painstaking measurements on these things and uh, do properly controlled tests um, which so few people manage to do I mean you, you see a lot of conversations on Planet Calypso forum um, where people go oh I'm gonna do this test and then they immediately muddy the test by not doing a, a big enough run of the same thing and then expecting the results to be true um, you can't do that and but the danger is when you do do a long enough um, run. Hey, a global finally. Ninety ped. Not 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 the biggest loot in the world. But okay, let's crack on. So um, you know, it, it, the danger is when you do a long run, you're going to get a big loot, and that's going to skew the result again. Unless you kind of take the big loot out of it, in which case you're you've not got a valid test again. So. It's a, it's a, tr it's a tough one. It's a tough one indeed. I guess the the best way to do a proper scientific method test in Entropia is to not tell anyone you're going to do a scientific test in Entropia and do a massive long run um, of the same mob with the same weapon and then do the same mob with a different weapon to make the comparison. Thanks guys, thanks for your grats.
Here's to hoping we get another one soon. Because uh, I'm going to have to kind of log off at some point, so... Be nice to nice to get another one in to kind of make up for that pitiful uh, return on the first run. To be honest, since I have, uh, since I last kind of did the enhancer thing with with the uh, with my gun here, which is a uh, well, it's a tier six at the moment, but it's just about ready to go tier seven. Um, I just I had a great time with it with all the enhancers and and a decent limited amp, but whoa. That was unexpected. I've never loaded. Um, I've never uh, looted an ELM thing before. I mean, it's not you know special, but definitely interesting. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. That distracted me somewhat. Yeah, so the enhancers, uh, you know, they really made the M2870 um, improved really good and gave it a lot of uh, damage per second, but you just got through so many enhancers because of the high reload speed and high damage per second that it just didn't make it worth it. And you know, I made various posts about this on on the forum back at, back in the day when I did this, and you know, it just it just got ignored, really. Uh, not not by well, I suppose to a point, the community ignored it. But you know, the fact that Mind are quite happy for you to lose that many enhancers it just makes the whole system worthless in my mind. You know. You know, if I had a high damage per second gun that... Oh, uh, look, we just got another ELM item. That's weird. Um, yeah, if I had uh, a high damage per second weapon but it had a really slow reload, I don't think I would get through anywhere near as much uh, as many enhancers because there's less chances to lose one. Yeah, that's an interesting statistic about the uh, the sirene based weapon. Um, although, to be honest, I had really good success with the Ozpin S1 X1 on Kerberos. Uh, it, it works really well on those. Maybe uh, you know, if you've got the time and energy to to do it, then have a crack at those.
Alright, this is the last mob but, uh, guys, um, I've got to go, the boss is back. So, thanks for watching, I'll just finish this one off and then I'll be closing out the stream. Thanks guys. finish on completing the mission. Great stuff. Bye everyone.